Hey guys, how's it going? It's Chris. It's another episode of Creatively Speaking, and this one's going to be a book review. The book review that we're doing today is the Beastie Boys book. It just came out this week. A phenomenal book. Great. I definitely recommend this, and I'll tell you the reason why. But before I go into the meat of that book, let's talk about how I read it. Now, I've been an avid reader for many, many years, uh, but I've been kind of turned on lately, the past six or seven months, to Audible. Audible is an Amazon company. It's an app that basically is audiobooks and this is purely for the people that are not avid readers and there's a lot of people that are, are not avid readers that are going to grab a book sit next to an, uh, uh, a fireplace and page turn this is for them this is also for the people that are avid readers like myself and the reason why I recommend it for both parties is because you are going to fly by books I mean you're going to self-educate yourself um, by reading a lot of nonfiction entertain yourself by reading a lot of uh, fiction. This is totally on the go. You can put it on to your smartphone, your laptop, your tablet. You can plug in your smartphone to your car and listen to these great stories uh, as you're on the go, uh, going to work, you know, taking a long drive, a great, great app, going for a walk, you name it. It's phenomenal. Um, so I'll tell you how that works at the end of this review, but let's get to the review. The review is the Beastie Boys book. Like I mentioned it just came out this past week. It is a phenomenal book under so many different categories. You're going to get entertained for sure. This is for the music fan, for the hip hop fan, for the business person, for the creative individual. This can also be used as a reference tool. I know it sounds insane to say, well, a Beastie Boys book would be a reference. Yeah, absolutely. If you're a creative individual in the creative business, hence this video uh, in this channel, this is definitely for you. Like I've always said, if you know me very well, or have been listening to my podcasts and my videos, I always say I have a notebook handy. Have a notebook handy on this book. You will definitely be uh, be taking some notes for sure. But this book, great book. It is uh, about the Beasties, of course. It's narrated by Mike D. Uh, and um, Ad Rock. And the great thing about that is it's coming from them. Unfortunately, they lost Adam Yauch a few years ago to cancer. Adam Yauch, if you guys don't know who he is, he also goes by the name of MCA. A big, big loss, especially when you read this book, uh, because you'll read, you realize in this book how much of this, uh, how much of an influence this guy had on this band, how pivotal this guy was in the formation of the Beasties, and how this guy was totally ahead of his time, uh, creatively speaking, and in, uh, in, in the form of tech. Unbelievable, uh, really inspiring in, in many ways. And you would never think that when you first are introduced to the Beasties that that guy had so much, so much of an influence. The Beasties in general have an influence in the musical industry, um, really are pioneers. They're iconic uh, in the, in the hip-hop rap um, industry. You know, literally shoulder to shoulder with, you know, Run DMC, LL Cool J, Kumo D, um, uh, God, it, just the list goes on. Fat Five Freddy. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. But it set. It really sets up a really fantastic foundation of a New York City in the late '70s, '80s, a grimy, razor edge New York City that I personally love. It's not the New York City a lot of people know of today, but I appreciate that uh, version of New York because it tells you what was going on in the world of creative New York. You know, you have, you know, the Andy Warhols of, of the world, the CBGBs, the punk scene, the Ramones, the Clash. Um, I forget what the place is called. I think it's called Disco, uh, Disco Terry, I believe. You know, that's where Madonna was, where the Beasties hung out, uh, hung out. We're talking about a wide variety of creative individuals that were nobodies at the time that are iconic today. That right there, guys, is fascinated right off the pitch. And quite honestly, it paints a phenomenal view of New York. It's not the most pleasant uh, depiction of a New York, but you'll learn to appreciate it more and more, especially when you're looking back at it today in 2018. So the interesting thing about the Beasties, uh, it's about three individuals that are coming from three different parts of New York and eventually you know, forming the Beasties. Um, the interesting thing about it, these guys did, These guys weren't a hip-hop band. They weren't a rap band. 
they were actually a punk band that really their influences came from a punk scene. Black Flag, The Clash, it just goes on and on and on and on as far as the laundry list of bands that these guys were influenced by. And then eventually the hip hop scene, rap scene, slowly kind of drifted into New York. And this is when these guys jumped onto that ship and really put their influence of a punk scene in a hip hop game. Phenomenal. You're gonna love it. Um, the great thing about this in regards to the narration, not only does it set up a fantastic foundation of a New York, it's being read by Mike D, it's being read by Ad Rock. Uh, again, it would have been great for MCA to have been still around and, and put his two cents in it because I think he would have phenomenal stories. The stories are um, inspirational, they're very, very comical. You'll definitely enjoy it. Um, you have you learn a little bit a lot a little bit about Rick Rubin, which if you guys don't know who Rick Rubin is, look this guy up. This guy is totally influential in today's music. If you see who this guy produces or has produced, you'll notice how important Rick Rubin is in the music industry. Um, the other great thing about this book, especially in an audio version is I've never seen it, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but especially in an audio version, there is a laundry list of guest narrators in this book. Guys and girls that you would not expect, from John C. Riley, Spike Jones, Will Farrell, Amy Poehler, Rosie Perez, the list goes on and on and on and on. So it is a phenomenal um, get, you know, a guest list. And it makes this 12 hour book fly right by. I mean, it flies right by. Sometimes I had to find myself that I'm rewinding the tape. Not that I didn't get it, what the, what the narration was. It's just that I love that story. I thought it was like intriguing, funny or whatever. I just wanted to, you know, uh, rewind it and have a couple more chuckles out of it. So um, it's definitely a great book. It is a lot of, there's a lot of eye-opening parts to this book, a lot of things that you, were, you didn't expect. But going back to the business sense of it all and the creative sense as far as a reference tool, it is a phenomenal book um, because it just shows you strategies. A lot of people that will read this book will probably won't pick those up. But if you are a creative individual and you're a, a business person or you're an entrepreneur, trust me, they will pop up clearly. And uh, it's really influential in that regard. So definitely pick it up. It just came out. Literally, it's like I said, it's a 12-hour book. Don't get discouraged by that. Trust me, there are certain books. I mean, I'm reading now uh, uh, the, uh, the biographical book of SNL. That's a 24-hour book, and I'm flying by those as uh, flying by that book as well. I'll do a review on that because uh, that's a great book in itself. 12 hours goes by really quick, and I'm talking about if you're constantly going, you know, here and there, driving to work, coming back home, going for a walk, like I mentioned, or whatever the case might be, or just kind of chilling and putting your, you know, ear, uh, earbuds in, and you're gonna be entertained totally. You're gonna whiz by 12 hours to the point that, quite honestly, guys, I'm listening to the book again after I finish this SNL book. So pick it up. It's the Beastie Boys book. Well worth your while to pick it up. You're gonna get entertained. The stories are phenomenal. You're gonna get inspired for sure. And again, it's for everybody. Now, let's talk about Audible. Audible is phenomenal, like I mentioned. This is for anybody, reader, uh, you know, avid reader, not an avid reader, definitely enjoy it. It's $14.99 a month. Um, I believe it has a two month trial, so definitely try it out. Again, for a guy that was an avid reader and loves his physical book, I was kind of skeptical when I first got it and totally love it. Like I mentioned, phenomenal library of books uh, to choose from, nonfiction, fiction, and everything in between. And the great thing about it, how it works, is that every month you are given a credit. Now that credit can be used to any book of your choosing that they offer. Doesn't matter if the book is 12 bucks or if the book is 30 bucks, it still is, um, you can use that credit for any book, which is great. But let's just say you get a book and you're not really cool about it. You're like, eh, I didn't really like it at the, I'm, I'm talking about the get. Or the narration wasn't great because I'm gonna tell you one, really one drawback about Audible. The drawback of it is that you might wanna get a book that is something that you've been wanting to read, right? Or listening to, but the narration sucks. 
and it might just kind of, you know, and if it doesn't captivate you right there, you might say like, oh man, I'm, I'm probably better off just buying the book and physically reading it. Then you can return it and you can be offered the credit back, which is great. I don't encourage that for every book that you get, don't get me wrong, but the factor of it is, is that you can um, get a credit back if you weren't, you know, fully satisfied in regards to the book. Uh, fictional books are great uh, because a lot of them, um, outside of the narration, if the production is really, uh, you know, a little bit up, you'll hear some music, they'll be quick music, sound effects, or whatever. Great, 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 great app in that regard. So, really small drawback. Give it a try. Go to audible.com. It's a two month trial. If you don't like it, sign off, you know. Uh, but if you like it, definitely continue. You'll definitely get entertained. But, guys, that's it. It's Chris. Thank you for listening. Always subscribe. If you have a couple comments, put them below, and definitely like this video. Thank you guys for uh, taking a few time, taking a few moments to listen to me, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.